Hi everyone, welcome to the next episode of our senior secondary tutorial series. Today's episode focuses specifically on how to find historical newspapers online. So this will be great for anyone doing any history subjects or anything else where you need to find that kind of information. So here we are at the State Library website, which is just up here, slv.vic.gov.au. And we're going to click on the search and discover tab, which is your one stop shop for research. If you're on an iPad, make sure it's in landscape mode. Scroll down, you can see the catalogue, the digital image pool, the research guides and the databases. So the database we're going to focus on today is ProQuest. Click on ProQuest. It's going to ask you to sign in. <clears throat> in order to be a member, all you have to do is click up here, click register, fill in the information, you get a text message to your phone. It only takes a couple of minutes and they'll text you your barcode number. Log in. And here we are at ProQuest. Now ProQuest has an option over here where it says more to choose historical newspapers. So I'm going to choose that. Let's do a quick example, say uh, the invasion of Poland. Obviously not all of you will be studying this, but it's just an example. We need to use broad key terms when we begin our searches on these kinds of databases and search. These refining tools on the left hand side are really key. So you can see it's applied the historical newspapers filter. Now what I need to do is a custom date range. If I want a primary source, I need to choose a date range from that time period. So I'm going to do 1939 to 1940 and apply. I can also see there's other filtering options down here, which you can explore like by location. And if you go more filters, there's some options uh, to choose the kind of newspaper that you want to look at. So let's have a look at this one as an example. Germans think Soviet will enter Poland in a few days. And I can see that the newspaper is from 1939. So here it is here. If I just want to get an overview to begin with, which is a good idea, I can click on abstract and just read this part here and see if it's going to be useful for your assignment. If it is, head back to the full text, read over the article. So this article is telling us about um, one of the key events that led to the beginning of World War II, which is absolutely fascinating to read um, and get perspectives from the people from the actual time period, obviously. That's going to help you have a much deeper understanding of the issue for all your assignments and your SACs and just yourself and your general knowledge. So you can cite it over here, which is a really useful tool. You can download it. You can email it to yourself. Sometimes I like to just go through all the different articles. And as I find ones by reading their abstract that I think are useful, I'll email them to myself and then I'll have a good read through all of them in one sitting at a different time. Okay, so that's how you can use the ProQuest database to find historical newspapers. Now we're going to head over to another database called Trove, which you may have heard of before if you're studying history. So this database has basically newspapers, uh, music, sound, video, maps, all sorts of things from Australia. So it's mainly Australian content. So if we look up something like the White Australia policy and click search, you can see we've got books, pictures, digitized newspapers, etc., all about that topic. So let's just have a look at pictures, for example. You can use these refining tools to refine further. Let's just look at this Xmas greeting card, White Australia, as an example. You can see the edition details down here, but to see the resource, just click on it. So you can see we've got the Christmas card here and if you want to read it, you can just click on the text there or use these tools over here to zoom in. This shows just how celebrated and widely accepted the policy was. The fact that they were making Christmas cards like this is quite extraordinary. And it also perhaps helps us understand why it took so long for Australia to dismantle the policy because as you can see here, it's so well ingrained into society. So these kinds of primary resources are really useful in finding those resources which give you a deeper understanding of the issue. So I hope you can use these tools and strategies to find more information about the topics you need and I hope to see you at the next tutorial. Thanks everyone.